Hi, I want to be bluntly honest. I like Ubuntu. It's like an open source uh, free Linux distribution. And um, by default, it's just a very nice working environment. And it ships a text editor called Jedit. So if you would, uh, if you go into your, your program overview, which is called Dash in Ubuntu, and you um, search for text editor, you will find this um, program and that's actually like it's it's written text editor but what is behind is um, Jedit. So that's Jedit and um, recently I've, I've come across the concept of distraction free writing some people call it Zen writing so so actually um, it's a, it's about the essence of writing which is basically the words so what you used to do on paper and pen to just write down without any distraction um, is try to be replicated by people uh, online, you know, um, digitally by distraction free writing. And so basically, um, the idea is you, you, you get rid of all the distractions that would possibly occur while writing. And I thought, okay, um, I use Ubuntu and um, this Jedit is the default text editor. So um, can I just use what is just shipped by Ubuntu without installing new programs and um, thereby also distracting myself again. But no, can I just stick to the default software and make it usable for me? And um, so I, I really tried my best to to, um, to start to use it um, as my distraction-free writing environment. But there are some issues which I also put down here. Um, they just make it very difficult for me. So. Um, let's start with the first one. For me, at least, when I when I write, um, I I want to have a spell check. <laughs> it's just like something which is really nice to see that, like quickly seeing um, wh what where are my misspelled words, and it, while Jedid has a, an option to to check the spelling, um, check spelling then produces. Um, yeah, this window where you can check your words, but I, I don't like that type of um, spell check. I rather prefer to have, um, which is called like highlight misspelled words, and this would then, like as you can see here, <laughs> funnily Jedit is not known in Jedit, so um, but that's only because it uses an external spell check library. Anyway, so um, this is the feature I actually want to have, like to just have misspelled words highlighted but I want to have that by default I don't want to and each time I, I, I open Jedit I open a new window um, I need to re-enable I need to check that again to highlight misspelled words and there's no option I, I couldn't find in the preferences I couldn't find any option to make that default um, behavior and um, I even checked plugins and it yes spell check is enabled but it doesn't have any any setting, um, maybe because it's like the last copyright note is 2005, so maybe it's not even developed anymore actively. So, yeah, so that's the first thing I, 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 I want to have that enabled by default. And if not, well, I could live with it if it's not enabled by default, but then I want to have a quick setting, a key. Like, why do I have the check spelling um, with a keyboard shortcut like Shift? F7, but to highlight misspelled words, there's no keyboard shortcut. Why can't I use Shift F8? Um, that would, um, well, let me try it. Maybe it works. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Bomb. See, um, that would be really cool. Um, then the second thing that at least distracts me a little bit, while I can enable um, the full screen mode with F11, which is already much better in terms of distraction free, because now I just see text. Well. The, the one thing that I don't like is that at the top you see that you know you see that shade uh, and that comes from um, this top bar that's kind of a bit confusing uh, I find it distracting and also what I usually would like to see is a padding from the left and from the right so let's say I mean this is all great you know it highlights the, the current line that's a setting I can I can uh, set in. But then what I would like to have is, like, let's see, 
Look, a little bit of padding from left, a little bit of padding from the top, and, and it would be great if it's automatically from the right. So that, that you know, that might, the focus on the text would be really in the center of, of the editor. That, that would be really cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's not, I, I couldn't find any setting um, on the, to, to set any kind of padding. Um, and well, the last thing, at least for me, um, recently Markdown, the Markdown syntax and yeah, Markdown language um, has become really popular. It's like some people, so some of you might know um, LaTeX, which is used in a lot in academic writing because it, it offers so many um, options to, to write formulas and stuff. Um, and then there's HTML, but Markdown is a really nice um, new concept that makes uh, formatting very easy to read. So if I want to write a heading, for example, this would be a heading one, which is late, later rendered. If you, if you put it into a kind of a rendering machine, um, it renders your text and would produce a big heading. This would be a, a second heading. And as you can see here, these are list elements and they would be later on rendered into, um, a, I can show you an example if you want. Um, so I can write WordPress, um, that's a cool feature in WordPress, it automatically supports it. As you can see, I, I'm writing a list element and it automatically produces, renders um, a list element or heading one Oh, that doesn't become one, but it should become one. Look, if I go into preview, it actually should become a heading one. See, that's that's a rendered form. Um, so Markdown is really fantastic. I really like it. It offers enough features. Where do I want to go? Oops, sorry. Yeah, it offers enough features um, to, 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 to give your document style, but it's still very readable and um, very simple use uh, and yeah yeah the flaw the downside Jedit doesn't support any markdown um, so there's no syntax highlighting in any way that to, to, to give me a, sh a a little bit of, 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 of help like visible help um, that this is actually heading to this could be marked in uh, I mean many text editors do have that support um, that heading to would be um, colored in a different color um, to indicate, okay, this is indeed um, a heading too. So, yeah, I think like given given these obstacles, I I don't know if I if I can stick to Jet. I would really like to, um, because yeah, simply because it's first it's shipped by Ubuntu, and I, I I would love to secondly just use what is given to me and and. Um, try to also think about how many programs do I actually need because behind each given program there was a lot of work put into it to, to, to develop it and I want to really appreciate that and acknowledge it and then become an expert in one program but yeah maybe maybe Jedit is just not mine I don't know um, so if you found some 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 other approaches to, to using um, Jedit as your distraction free Zen writing editor then yeah, please let me know. I would just love to have a discussion on that um, with you. So in that sense, um, happy use of, of Jedit.